China bought the West time the West squandered it. While China had to contend with a nasty sudden surprise. Governments in the West have been on notice for weeks. Aspects of China's quarantine especially when they prevented the elderly and disabled from receiving medical care were unnecessarily crude. Outsiders seem to want to view China's experiences as uniquely its own. And I know that now China's leaders want to sell their heavy-handed methods as exemplary. Even as the virus was killing dozens of people a day their government propaganda was touting the China model. While ridiculing efforts by the United States to combat natural disasters. Why did so many countries watch the epidemic unfold for weeks as though it was none of their concern? Recently, one dominant storyline was that the epidemic in China spiraled out of control because the authorities cracked down on early whistleblowers in late December, allowing the virus to spread. And while some in the West fixated on how China's system failed to stem the outbreak at first, they were ignoring the aspects of it that worked. There's nothing authoritarian about checking temperatures at airports, enforcing social distancing or offering free medical care to anyone with COVID-19. Not all open societies have fumbled. Singapore, Taiwan and perhaps soon enough South Korea have moved forcefully but sensibly to contain the virus. Showing the sort of savvy that seems to be missing in large swaths of the West. But too many countries further afield have stood by, watching for weeks what was unfolding in China, and then elsewhere in Asia, as though it was none of their concern. Some governments have dithered for a lack of political will. Some seem to fall prey, still, to a perception of China as the eternal other.